Okay, okay guys, welcome back to another episode of The Walking Dead. We are getting attacked as we speak. I don't know how to do this. I'm like... Okay, I gotta figure this out. Wait, okay, so... Uh, 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 smash him. Are you kidding me? What am I supposed to do? Oh, okay. This is not easy. I guess I have to like... Yeah, okay, I can't keep pressing this button. Throw. Why would I ever get rid of my axe? Okay. Uh, that one. Yep. Yeah. Uh, like that. And like some of this. Yep. And some of this. Uh, give, 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 give. Oh my god. Uh, 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 please help. Please help. Oh my god, what do I do? It doesn't tell me what to do. It doesn't tell me what to do. Ah! Please help! I can't go back and forth. Are you kidding me? No. Fine, okay. Um, hit him. Hit him. Right there. Right there. Ah! Okay. Uh, 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 uh. I hit, got him. Him. hit him! Hit him! Hit him! Beat him in the head! Kick him! No! I don't know what to do! I don't know what to do! Back away! Back away! Back away! Back away! Oh, are you kidding me? <coughs> Ew! Ew! <laughs> Please help! Please help! Please help! Push him! Push him! Push him! Push him! Push him! Well, it doesn't say how to push him! Okay, we got this. Okay, ready? Push him. Ah, uh, you missed every time. I think he's supposed to miss. Ah, uh, kick him, kick him, kick him in the head. Kick him in the head. Ah, uh, kick him. Go, 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 go. Oh, jeez. Kick him again. Kick him. Okay, we got this. We got this. He's gonna fall. You're gonna hit your head. Watch out. Oh, man. I'm bad at this. Ah. Uh, Come on. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's terrifying. Thanks. No problem. We gotta watch each other's backs. Glad right? I gave you food. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Yeah, 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 yeah. Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word. But he wasn't bitten, I, I don't swear. think he was. I have Your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife. What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? Uh-oh. It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the uh -oh. brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. Well, that's terrifying. We're all infected? Everyone? I I guess so. I don't know. I all I know is that I've seen <sighs> people turn who I know were never bitten. When terrifying. I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in the gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't Jenny take Pitcher. it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Mm -hmm. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and Uh oh. Duh. It works. Of course it works. I told you. <laughs> Shit, where'd this string come from? Watch where you're walking. Gotta give him food. I don't know. Are they the people that raided your camp? I don't think so. But they all had their faces covered, so I don't know. Hmm. Do we kill them? There's Can just two of them? them. We need to make a stand. No, we have a routine. We don't confront them if we don't have to. You all right? Yeah, just getting untangled. I don't know how you're still alive, man. Sorry, Lily. We gotta do this. Just let him walk by. No. That's far enough. 
Oh, shit. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, no problem. Um. We don't want any trouble. Of course, uh, n neither do we. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother, Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. Just got any food? What do you need gas for? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. Hmm. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. At the dairy. Interesting. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'll go too. Improve the numbers in case we run into anything dead. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? Um, okay. You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. Okay, fair. So this dairy. I hope this doesn't you screw me really over. Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. All and right. with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Why are we walking so far behind? Thanks for coming along, Doug. Sure. I'd like to get a look at that electric fence they talked about. It might give me some ideas for something I can rig up at the motor end. Can an electric fence really stop walkers? Well, as long as the walkers aren't completely dehydrated and the fence has enough juice, yeah, it seems plausible. The Can electricity brain? basically cooks you from the inside out, right? I guess so. Gross. So, if a walker stays in contact with the fence, it'll eventually cook its brain. Probably takes a while, though. And that can't be a good smell. Unless it smells like jerky. <laughs> Man, I could go for some jerky. This guy's stupid. What's that you got there? Oh, nothing. It's just a laser pointer I picked up during our last trip to the drugstore. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where mm. are you from? Um... The motor end's my home now, I guess. Let's not focus on the past. That place seen better days, huh? We've actually made it pretty secure. I like that alarm system you made. That's pretty smart. <laughs> Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor end. Uh, who's running things over there? Um... We work as a group. Yeah. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many I get so nervous when it says how many, like, ah, oh, geez. Um, uh, um, I well, don't know. The kid here is our newest arrival, but we're all looking forward to some food. We really yeah. Need it. Well, here's to helping each other out. I don't want to well, tell them too much. To get you all out I to did the avoid. Like I said, we got plenty of food, uh, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. Mm -hmm. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. <laughs> Mom's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but now it's... Getting... You think you're going to cut me out of this? Uh-oh. Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You uh -oh. and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who oh, are they? Shh. Fuck you! Fucking you knew we were hungry, they and you guys were keeping it all for yourself. What should we do? Yeah, Kill them. You know what? We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Or they'll Don't kill worry. each other. I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! Whoa! Shoot him! Shoot him! Wow! Oh, I'm shooting him right in the dick. Wow! Wow. The world out here has gone to shit. Come on. Let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Do you just gonna leave him like that? Oh, he's coming back. You didn't shoot him in the head. Oh, uh, that's not good. Uh, I'm learning how this works. Here it is. <laughs> St. John Family Dairy. Cool. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. Pretty nice for a zombie That's apocalypse. <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. Ew. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. Oh, wow. You guys must know a thing or two about running wire. Had a guy who did, yeah. 
Oh, not so much anymore. Um. This is a really brilliant setup. Suits us just fine. Oh, wow. You've got enough electricity to run the whole place. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. <laughs> Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's been living down at the old motel, round the way. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Accident. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Um... We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Um... Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're starved. These are for y'all. They crashed <laughs> this morning. Holy moly! <laughs> Food! Sorry. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she... We have a vet, but we could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! <laughs> Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. Okay. It'd be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? These people are too nice. Why don't Way I head back nice. with the food and round up everyone for the trip back here? You might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. Mm -hmm. No problem. Ben can come with you. Mm -hmm. Take this. All right. See you later. Later. <sighs> Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Mm -hmm. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. I'd love to learn about this fence. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play <laughs> our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Um... Uh, Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. Alright, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find Scope out what up. you can from Andy. Alright, sounds good. Don't touch the fence. Alright. Mm-hmm. What do you think? What do you think, Mark? So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? <gasps> I'll keep looking around. I have looked right, at nothing. Keep me posted. Oh, I thought you wanted to chat. Oh, sorry. What's this thing? What's that? Click it. Uh, hello? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, a broken swing. Interesting. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Um. How'd it break? Got busted the first day those things showed up. Thank God no one was on it at the time. They just broke Looks the like swing. This needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. <laughs> Sorry we can't help you with anything. We're gonna just, um, we're just going to fix your swing for you. <laughs> Never mind the zombies. We're just gonna fix your swing. Alright, let's see. What else do we have around here? What's this? No, I don't want to go inside. I want to keep walking the perimeter here. Alright, so we've got lights. Why do we have lights? You can definitely tell they built this thing themselves. What if a zombie unplugs it? Wow, that's mean. Well, look at this janky old thing. Mm-hmm, this is a fence. 
Do you say pointy? Oui. Sure. What's going on here? Big right now, but if I can find something to cut it down to size, this might make a good seat for the swing. Hmm. Hello. Hmm. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. Cool. <laughs> That was easy. That's not gonna be strong enough for a swing. Did I just put that in my pocket? Alright. What else do we have over here? Let's go fix that swing, I guess, because we can't really do anything else. What's this? Hello? What you got here? What's that? Generator. You guys come along with gas just in time. Hey, uh, don't mess with that, okay? <laughs> Things a little tricky, and I don't want to spend half a day trying to fix it again. Again? Mm, I don't want to talk to you. All right, let's go fix that swing, and then let's check out and see what's going on inside this house. All right, I can. I can fix that. Fix it. Do it. The board is good, but I need some rope. Ah. Uh. What about this rope? That's not good enough rope for you. All right, well, let's go look inside, maybe. Maybe there's something cool hanging out inside. In we go. Uh, what's this? Awards? Who keeps Still awards outside? Ribbons in its day, huh? This place was my daddy's life. Stop following it everything me. to him. You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single-story house. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. Said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. Oh. Mama, she was done after Dan. My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day, the world changed. Now this place is all we have left of daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. Hmm. I think he eats people. Okay, stop following me. I just want to look at stuff. Shoe bucket. What do you keep in a shoe bucket? New shoes? Hey, rope! Alright! This rope is perfect for the sway. Cool. Don't mind if I do. So I have rope, I have what else we have here? Look at plants, sure. Mmm, fresh herbs. I can hardly wait for dinner. Sure. Okay, let's go fix that swing first. Alright. I wonder how long this is gonna take. Use board and rope on swing. Correct. Do it. Alright. This shouldn't be too tough. All of a sudden, well, there's a new swing. Dead. You're welcome. Mama's gonna be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. Hopefully our kids will like it too. Hey, Did check me out. Did you say something, darling? Oh my goodness. Check Did it out. Just trying to help out a bit around here. You know, I used to push Andy and his brother out here on that swing every night when they were kids. Cute. It seems like such a long time ago now. Yeah, it does. All fixed. That's Look at that swing. <laughs> Look at swing again. Keep looking at swing. Look at swing forever. Repeat. Alright, now we could go inside the house, I think. That seems like it could be cool. Hopefully there's no bodies in there. Ding dong. Hi there, Lee. What can I do for you, sweetie? Can I help you with anything around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But mm -hmm. feel free to check with Andy. He's mm -hmm. got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. Your family's done an amazing job of keeping this place up. Look at the well, sun. The sky's gorgeous. perfect. Thank you, Lee. The boys and I have tried to adapt as best we can, but we still keep some of our old routines to help remind us of better times. Better times. 
Uh... How many rooms does this house have? Rooms? Why do you ask? Mm. Oh, uh, just curious, I guess. Let's not start thinking too far ahead now. Let's just focus on getting y'all a good home-cooked meat tonight. Well, if anything comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. Okay, wow, bye. Hmm, don't like that very much. Uh, well, I guess let's talk to him and see what he wants. He's probably got like a project or something. Uh, actually, let's tell him what we found. Fix the swing! Yo! Hey. Uh, yes. Generator might be a problem. And he said it's tricky and repairing it takes him a while. Still, it's a hell of a lot more secure than the motor is. I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. Um. Okay, let's see what he wants me to do. Cause he's just sitting here fiddling with this thing. Yo, Dandy. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. Been stockpiling, huh? Uh. Yeah. If you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Hopefully, it'll never come to that, but thanks. Um, uh, let's go fix the perimeter. I, I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. The you know, husks. Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds bet. easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Sound good, man. Mark's gonna get electrocuted. I can just tell. <sighs> I know how these things happen. Alright, well before we get the fence all settled, I'm gonna stop it there. That is the end of this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think down below if I should continue with this. I think I'm gonna try and repair this fence at the very least, but we'll see how it goes. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again next time. Bye for now!